Why do you look like a doctor today? I didn't think it was a doctor. I thought it was more of like a... I'm like a 30 year old cool mum, you know? See, like, this is... This is cool. I just need my, my red wine and maybe a, a cigarette if you really wanna... <laughs> when my dental hygienist is preparing, prepping me for the x-ray, yeah, so true. My goal in life is to be a MILF. Better goal than 90% of women. Yeah, I'm not like the other girls. I'm cool. That was a joke, by the way, because one guy in here isn't going to be able to detect that that's a joke, and he's going to be like, Wow, what a bitch. <laughs> wow, what a respectable woman. Yeah. You remind me of Wallace and Gromit, and I don't know why. <laughs> Bell baby, are you an ally? Of who? Like, of us gay peeps? Um, I mean, yeah, of course. <laughs> I said that so weirdly, why did I, like, hesitate? No, no, <laughs> no, that makes it sound like <laughs> No, waited three seconds too long. No, I just... <laughs> I don't tolerate them. No, I love gay people. I love them very much. No, I got. I was thinking because <laughs> send them to the back of the bus. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant at all. That's not what I meant at all, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, it's because, like, if you've been watching my streams for a while, you probably know. I don't want to talk about this anymore. And no, that that might have implied that you probably know I'm homophobic. I'm not homophobic and I've never been homophobic. <laughs> I mean, you probably know certain attitudes that I possess who... <laughs> certain groups that sounds even worse dude can we stop talking about this i don't want to talk about this anymore man <laughs> i want to end stream i made it even worse somehow man i don't even know how i managed that i just got off work and this is what i joined to you joined to a good stream Dude, that laughing when my head hurt. Why are you streaming with a migraine? Because if I don't stream, then I'll get messages from people saying, Hey, Belle, what are you doing? Belle, you have a really great opportunity and you're wasting your life away by not taking advantage of this opportunity that so many other people don't have. And then I go to talk to my parents about my problems and they say, Well, Belle, if you just streamed, then maybe you'd feel a lot happier. And I'm like, oh, you're so, you're so right. Oh, you're so right. Oh, Belle, if you streamed, maybe you would be super popular and you'd be in living in the fucking states right now. Oh, wow. You're so right. You're so right. Oh, wow. No, it's because I like streaming. That's why. Do you have any exodrin for the migraine? No. I might actually see what medication I have. I have honey and lemon flavor. I have skin cleansing alcohol swabs. I once took like double the recommended dose of these and I was perfectly fine. Where is the CBD vape pen? Dude, I can't stand vaping. You look like someone who would vape. That is genuinely the meanest thing that anybody has ever said to me. The last big streamer I messaged was... Was it simply? That was ages ago. It was just because I wanted to know how to play Minecraft. It was not call me Carson, what the hell, man. I really am just a little circus monkey. I once saw a guy swallowing swords on the street and he started choking on the sword. It was funny. He was fine. <laughs> he kind of seemed like a bit of a douchebag anyway, so I found it like oddly satisfying when he started choking on it. And I was like, yeah, you're not so cool now, are you? He deserved to die. No, he wasn't dying. It was obviously just a little flimsy thing. <laughs> I used to have a video of it, but it was on my old phone. It was so funny because he put it down, he pulled it, and I went. <laughs> I can remember it really well. It made me laugh a lot. <laughs> One thing that really annoys me is those people who hand out pamphlets about Christianity to me. Go away. 
I don't want to talk to you. There was some lady handing out pamphlets about how 5G, like the radiation from 5G is like deteriorating our brains. And I was like, do you have a real job? Like you're seriously standing in the city for hours going up to innocent people who want nothing to do with you and trying to, I'm like, I, I genuinely can't comprehend it. I'm like, there are so many other, like, more useful things you could be doing with your life. Ready to see Jesus when you die? I'm very excited. I'm dead on the inside. Just smile, man. Belle, you look like a woman. That's the nicest thing that's been said this stream. Thank you. Mongolian throat singing. I actually had a really creepy thing happen last night. I'm gonna change the music because it's gonna make this actually eerie. I was in bed. I I hope, I assume, I was just in a half dream, like half sleep, half awake kind of state. And I was lying in my bed. And then I felt that someone was in the room. That I was like, you know, I was tired and I was like, whoa, well, I'm just being a bit funny, whatever. So I'm lying on my stomach and I feel like a bit of weight on my foot and I'm like but why is that happening like I feel so weird right now and then I feel it felt like someone my feet were like here it felt like someone got their hands and pressed into my feet like this and then let go and I was like wow this song is really fitting for this story it was so weird. I was kind of like, you know, I'm I'm very, <laughs> I'm very skeptical. I don't believe in ghosts or anything. And I was also, you know, I was so sleepy that I was like, dude, this is weird. And then I like hear light little footsteps, and the I'm gonna say person comes like over here, and then puts. Again, this genuinely sounds like I'm going insane. I assume it was some... I'll keep going. <laughs> I was lying down and these hands got my duvet and like tucked it into my shoulders because I was lying down like this and they pushed it on my shoulders and I suddenly was like, what? What? Is there someone in here? Like, what the fuck? And then I kind of jumped up and kind of woke up a lot and I was like, what the actual f fuck was that? And also because I jumped up really suddenly because I was also like, is this sleep paralysis? Am I about to enter sleep paralysis? Like, what the fuck is going on? I must have been in a dream that looked like I was in the exact same position that I was and then woke up. I don't know, it was... it was very weird. And I used to experience stuff like that as a kid, like, quite often, and that's why I used to believe in ghosts. Yo. Frodo was not there to save me. But, you know, shit like that is what makes me think Argos real? But no, I don't believe in ghosts. 